to another episode of Sweet Spots with Chris Rainwaters. I'm Chris, and today I'm sitting down with Jen. She is the owner of Brood Vista in downtown Vista. Hi, Jen. Hi. How are you? I'm great. How are you? <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. You know what I mean? Green and I would pinch you if you weren't <laughs> social distancing. Um, <laughs> so we are in your business today. It's closed. So it's nice and quiet um, because we have COVID hours, right? We're open Tuesday. Uh, Thursday through oh, Sunday. Sorry, excuse me. Thursday through Sunday. So come today and check it out, which today is Wednesday, but this will be out tomorrow. Yeah. It's confusing. Okay. <laughs> um, why don't you take a real quick moment to start out, just kind of describe your business and tell us a little bit about it. Perfect. So, Root Vista, um, located in downtown Vista, right across from the Alba Theater, um, kind of an interesting concept. We specialize in craft coffee and craft beer. We also offer light food, panini, salads sandwiches, um, not alcoholic meat, snacks, kind of a little bit of everything. Awesome. So it's just a really cool spot to hang out, yeah. whether you drink or not, or you're a coffee fiend, or you are a snapper, or whatever your thing is, everybody can just get together and whatever they want, you've got it for the most part. We try. Nice. We try. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, um, so what were kind of some of the factors that made you choose this location in, in Vista in general to, to open your business? Um, my husband and I moved to Vista almost seven years ago and just really, really, really fell in love with the city. It's me too. <laughs> great, small hometown feel. Everybody's wonderful. Um, and then we spent a lot of time in downtown. And when this was uh, the previous business, we both kind of looked at it and like, that would make a great tap house. Nice. So it came up for sale and we're like, should we do it? Should we try? And the first time it held up. Like the, we just couldn't make the numbers crunch. Oh, to purchase it or the yeah. business itself? The business itself, just because the owners were trying to get out of it. Ah. Um, so we just couldn't make the numbers make sense with the right. seller. Right. So we let it go. And a year later, the same business came up for sale again. Oh, it's meant to be. Yeah. And it was the craziest thing. The first time around, um, I told my mom that I wanted to do it. And she's like, go for it. I'll help you. Yeah. And in between, she passed away. Oh, so literally, she did it. It literally no, was she did it. Two weeks <laughs> after she passed away, that we signed the papers. That's amazing. <laughs> she did it. She was like, if I can help from the other side, I bet you. So that's amazing. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> um, well, we're glad you're here, and we hope that everything is awesome, especially since COVID numbers are going down and business is going up, right? So yeah, slowly but surely, we're inking up. It's a hell of a year trying to start a business. <laughs> Seriously, they opened in March, you guys, of 2020, so it's yeah. been uh, it's been a rough road, I'm sure. <laughs> um, do you have like a cool fun fact or something that most people don't know about your business that, that you think they ought to know? Um, you know, one thing, um, we slightly themed it on travels. It's one of the okay. passions my husband oh, and I have. Oh, that looking around. So um, a lot okay. of the, the pictures on the walls are yeah. from our travels. Nice. So we kind of tied that in to make it a little bit more personal. So you'll, you'll see a, a little tidbits here and there. That's awesome. <laughs> that's super cool. See, I had no idea. That's a, that's a fun fact. <laughs> um, so, and what would be something that your clients just absolutely adore about your business? What do they say the most often? They love how hands-on we are, and they absolutely love our staff. We, awesome. We hire for personality, and we want everybody to feel comfortable here. So kind of the cheers feeling as soon as you walk in the door. Right. Well, it's got that kind of the couches and all the different mixed-media tables and decor and stuff. It's very comfortable. <laughs> yeah. I know there's a, a lot of other spots um, around the area and even downtown that you know they have great products and a great place to hang out, but it's not as good to have a conversation. Right. It's, but it's kind of clinical or loud. Really striving to have a conversation place. Very cool. Um, so, uh, you had mentioned that you had moved here seven years ago. Where are you and your husband from? Um, we both grew up in LA. Okay. And then we went up to Eugene, Oregon for school and ended up staying there for about 10 years. Okay. And then moved back down to Oceanside and then eventually Vista. That's exactly. We went to Oceanside and then Vista too. This is so much better. Sorry, Oceanside people. <laughs> <laughs> we'll <tell them. laughs> so, um, do you and your husband have hobbies? I mean, Talk of you guys like to travel, although probably not with the business now. <laughs> Between COVID and the business, it's not very easy yeah, to travel. No. <laughs> um, animals are really our passion. Nice. So um, before this, I was managing a vet hospital. Okay. Um, my husband still works in the vet industry um, for a veterinary laboratory company. Um, when we were in Eugene, we both ran a 5 one 3 rescue. Very cool. So 
when I'm not doing this, I'm just really keeping my dogs occupied. <laughs> I'm surprised this isn't a cat cafe. <laughs> <laughs> I love them too. Yeah. We have chickens and oh and a snake and a jerk. Well no. Guinea pig. Okay. We have all sorts of things. <laughs> no one's dark at your house. <laughs> I I like to picture the ace ventura scene when he comes home and there's animals popping out from under everywhere. Um, that'll be one day. Um, so is there anything new or exciting that's happening or coming up that, that we should tell people about? Uh, last weekend, and it will continue this weekend, um, we're doing the Girl Scout Cookie Beer Pairing. Oh, nice! So you'll get four cookies um, for a taste of beer for $13. It's kind of a fun way to uh, support local Girl Scout troops because they get so excited when I go and make a giant order. Oh, totally! <laughs> That's awesome! And you get a chance to try some beer that you might not have been brave enough to do before. That's true, too. Yeah, yeah. order a whole pint. And, yeah. yeah. It's not a big thing. That's true. It's just a little set and a cookie. <laughs> uh, well, thank you so much for joining me today. Is there anything else that you want to add? or um, Just come see us. Yeah. Yeah, this is a, a great spot. We're trying to make it work. We're, my husband and I are super local. We live a mile down the street, so kind of a mom and pop coffee shop beer spot. So come see us. It's a cool place to be. All right. Thank you so much. Um, again, this is Jen. She's the owner of Brood Vista in downtown Vista. And I'm Chris Rainwaters, realtor with Cochrane Global Living and the Shoshana Howe Group. Thank you again, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.